Why, hello there, friends, and welcome back to the Nonary game. Now, uh, so, pretty much, well, I can't go to the flowchart, but anywho, <laughs> I was told that, uh, we should go through door three, because that leads us down the, uh, the, like, rightmost path on the flowchart, and it's just a straight shot through... There's no other decisions to be made after this point, <laughs> and it provides both the most story as well as the rest of the puzzle rooms than the other couple endings that we have to do that are actually bad endings, which I figured. I figured, th I, I don't know what, how, it, I, this might even be a bad ending, but, because I don't know anything about it, but... <laughs> You know, uh, and then after this, then we're going to go back to the unlocked now ending and then do that and then see what happens. <laughs> but for now, we're going to head into door three and uh, yeah, let's do it. I want to go through door number three. Yes. Nope, you can't. You son of a bitch. Huh? Why? <laughs> because it's impossible. It's it, anything's possible. <laughs> If we split ourselves into three and three, then we give up on going through door three. Uh, Why? <laughs> the bracelet numbers for the six of us are three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I get it. <laughs> there are two combinations that can go through door three with three people. Three, four, five, or six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. That's it. Of course, two teams can't go through the same door. I see. That means one team would get left behind. Ah, they can deal with it. That's right. I gotta do this for the, for the ending. <laughs> that doesn't happen if we go through door seven or eight? No, they're fine. We've got three options. I like how I... Shinpei's like... So that doesn't happen? Santa began to explain. Here Option A? Have three, five, and eight go through door seven. And four, six, seven go through door eight. Yes. Option B. Four, five, and seven go through seven. And three, six, and eight go through eight. I want to go through three. Option C. Three, six, and seven go through seven. And four, five, and eight get eight. I want to go through three. <laughs> Those are the only three options. That's it. I just keep trying. I'm like persistent. At least if we want to get all six of us out of here. Wait. Oh... That was when Junpei realized. <laughs> Plan A divides into two teams. 3, 5, 8, and 4, 6, 7. Plan B divides into two teams. 4, 5, 7, and 3, 6, 8. Plan C divides into two teams. 3, 6, 7, and 4, 5, 8. But that means... There was one thing they all had in common. 5 and 6 can never be on the same team. Mm -hmm. If we want all six of us to go through a door... Then June and I can't go into the same one. Dude, there's so many questions that I have concerning June and maybe Santa and everything happening. June and Junpei have been friends when they were kids. He trusted her more than anyone else on the ship and, you know, <laughs> if he chose seven or eight, he'd be taken away from her. Was that something he was prepared to do? No, not in this timeline. <sighs> I don't want it. Have you molded over enough, or do you need more time? I want to go do through door three. Anyway, that's the deal, so think it over. How's about I tell you what the deal is? You've got two choices, seven or eight. Are they really going to make me just... You can't choose three. You son of a bitch. If you choose three, you're going to be leaving three people behind to die. They're not going to die, Jesus Christ. So what are you going to do? <laughs> seven or eight, time to choose. Oh, Jesus. Do I... Junpei thought hard. After thinking it over, his conclusion was, we're going to go do through door three. We're going <laughs> to. Dude, I already know. Here's the thing. This is just, I feel like if we choose any of these ones, um, it'll just lead down the same path as before. But this one, I think, because we already know what happens. Everything leads back to the same spot. And, you know, so... <laughs> Sorry, Santa, but I still want to go through door three. There's so, uh, you know. What? We've... That's nuts! You've got to be crazy! You gotta take care- I got some shit to take care of, and, uh, I love June. 
Why the hell are you so obsessed with that door? <laughs> I'm just... I got a good feeling. <laughs> Junpei paused. He swallowed the words he'd been about to say. I'm just curious about door three. That's all. <laughs> that is not... That is not a good, uh, defense. That doesn't explain shit. <laughs> That's not a good defense. I've got a reason. I'd be happy to explain it to you if you'll just come with me. Uh -huh. <laughs> With that, he began walking toward the door. Their curiosity likely getting the better of them, the others followed. A few of them looked a little suspicious, but Junpei told himself that wouldn't matter. He kept walking and kept silent. Eventually, they arrived at the number three door. <laughs> you see this door? No. <laughs> Junpei stopped. I'm curious about the red. Seven, would, would you mind authenticating for me? What? Why? <laughs> Please, just do it. Dude, Jinpei's got it all figured out. <laughs> he stared at Jinpei for a moment, then grunted and laid his palm heavily on the scanner. Happy? <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> the way he said that. The number seven has been entered into the red. Next is June. Uh, please touch the red just like seven did. <laughs> Jumpy, what are you trying to figure out? <laughs> ah, yep. I think... Junpei thought about his answer for a moment. I think I might have found another way out. Uh, what? 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 <laughs> really? That got them excited. Just as Junpei had intended. <laughs> Junpei! Now please, June. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> uh, 7 plus 6 equals 13. And 1 plus 3 equals 4. <laughs> With those two numbers in the red, Junpei had what he wanted. <laughs> he casually placed his own hand on the scanner, and third and the third asterisk blinked on. God damn it! I feel four plus five equals nine. All right, the only people who haven't authenticated now are Santa, Clover, and Lotus. So, what's your point? <laughs> you don't get it. Uh, think about it. Huh? Uh. -huh. What's the sum of your number and Clover's? Twelve. Mm -hmm. And what's the digital root of that? Three. Which is Santa's number? By the way, Lotus, uh, what's the number that's currently in the red? Seven plus six plus five equals eighteen. It would be nine, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, and what will the digital root be if you add three to that? Three, the door's number. Aha! Uh -huh. There you go! Hey, wait a minute. What the hell are you up to? Listen, I got plans, and... <laughs> I'm not up to anything. <laughs> Why is Junpei sounding super skeevy to me? Like, I don't know. I'm just waiting. <laughs> I'm just waiting. <laughs> waiting for what? I'm waiting for the balance to shift. Uh -huh. Santa, or Lotus and Clover. Once one of you moves, the others won't have a choice. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm waiting. What is, what is this path I've been led down, you by you fuckers? Jinpei laid his hand almost casually on the lever. You son of a bitch! You tricked us! <laughs> I don't like this, guys! Then all that stuff you were going on about is all bullshit! Bullshit? Huh, I don't think so. Didn't I tell you I'd figured out another way to get out of here? This is it. Why the hell would you do something like this? God, I feel like I'm the bad guy. <laughs> Junpei glanced at June. Yep. Jumpy. Listen, we got we we were we being led a dark down. Dark, we're being led a dark down a dark path for you, June. <laughs> just because we got be together with you. You did this just so you could go through the same door as June. Uh, no. Yes. That's it. Santa was furious, his face was red, and flecks of spit flew from his lips as he spoke. Junpei closed his eyes calmly, and then opened them again. So, who's it going to be? <laughs> Santa? Or Lotus and Clover? Shit! Damn. Damn, that's like... Whoo! Whoo -hoo -hoo! Super intense, dude! The fuck? <laughs> what have I done?! Let's go, Clover. Yup! <laughs> huh? God damn it! Damn! 
Lotus leapt forward. She grabbed Clover by the sleeve and ran for Junpei in the door. Fuck! God damn. Caught by surprise, Santa froze for a moment, then shot forward like a bullet from a gun. I don't like Santa anyway, it's fine. <laughs> Lotus had a head start, but Santa had the advantage in size and speed. Ah, oh, shit. No. Almost immediately, he passed Lotus and Clover. No! Uh, no, wait! Oh. Santa did not hesitate. Ah! Oh my god. He slammed his hand down on the red. Well. This is insane! This isn't right! <laughs> he glared at Junpei, his chest heaving. Yeah, well, you may be right. Junpei's voice was cold, but not without effort. But. <laughs> he turned to the red and pulled the lever. Dude. <laughs> okay, that was, that was pretty great. Uh <laughs> With the sound of metal on metal, the door opened. It would only remain open for nine seconds. There was no time to think. Go! Jesus. Junpei and the, his three reluctant companions jumped into the door's gaping mouth, one after another. <laughs> no sooner did they enter than an all-too-familiar noise sounded from their ri left wrists. The detonators had activated. <laughs> Junpei looked back only once and saw Lotus and Clover on the other side of the closing door. It'll be fine! <sighs> no! <laughs> I feel really bad, though. They stood still, stopped where they had been when Santa reached the red. The defeat and desperation on their faces tore at Junpei's heart. Then the door closed and they were gone. <laughs> well, I didn't... You son of a bitch, Junpei! This isn't fair! I did not paint myself in a good light this time around. <sighs> Santa rounded on Junpei, lightning crackling in his eyes and his knuckles white. Hey, 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 hey. I got the upper hand here. I really don't, though. Do you realize what you just did? You leave them out there, and they can't- They'll be fine. Shut it! That's enough! <laughs> it hadn't been Junpei that spoke, but Seven. We gotta find the dead or none of this is gonna matter! Mm -hmm. The clock was ticking. The dead was their only chance at survival. Unless they could find it and deactivate their detonators, the four of them would be... We got less than a minute left. No time for screwing around. Get moving! It's usually on the other side of the door. Damn it. You and I are not done yet, bastard! I don't like you, so making you mad doesn't bother me. <laughs> they scattered and began to scour the room. The deactivation device was nowhere to be found. Where? Where the hell is it? Corridors stretched out in three directions, but everyone was blocked off by a wall of metal. There was only one way out. One other door. Over there! It's gotta be behind the door! This one? <laughs> Seven ran for the door, a rusty iron thing. His large hands grabbed hold of the handle and pulled. And we slip on Damn, through. It's pitch dark inside. I can't see a thing! <laughs> Junpei stuck his head through the door and looked around the room. No, wait! What if this just led us led to our death? <laughs> Almost immediately, he spotted the blinking red light on the right wall. I found it! The dead's right over here! Aha! He stepped into the room. Oh, oh God. <laughs> what? What was that? The floor's slippery! Oh, that's not good. He stopped and glanced down at his feet. What was... Hey! What the hell are you doing? Uh... There's something... Get over there! Junpei felt Seven's heavy hand against his back and stumbled across the room. Uh-huh. But the other three piled in behind him. They all felt immediately that something was wrong. I was I was like, yup, I know what that is. <laughs> Nothing that could be easily identified. Only a sense that something terrible shared the room with them. But there was no time to say so. Quick! Get to the dead! They all started running. In the dark, it was hard to tell where the wall was. All they could see was the tiny red light blinking at them over and over and over. There it is! God, that is it's, it, it, the blood's even splattered all over it, too. In quick succession, they all slammed their hands against the scanner panel. Even though, as we know, we just need to put our uh, bracelet right next to it, and it'll be fine. <sighs> I 
like how Ju- Ju- June didn't say anything during that whole thing. It's not really. Seven leaned against the wall, gulping air as his breathing began to return to normal. He glanced at his left wrist and grunted. It stopped. It stopped. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> This goes crazy. Junpei could hear him laughing in the dark, but could uh, barely make out the large, larger man's face. I don't think I'll ever get used to doing this. You know that uh, body, that snake, but not snake? Yeah. What the? <coughs> don't look. Don't smell. Don't anything. The sound of retching came from Santa's direction. What the hell is this smell? This is vile. <laughs> I'm gonna puke. I feel ya. So desperate that had they been in their race to the dead, that no one had noticed the horrible smell that pervaded the room. It was a terrible, nauseating stench, like burnt and rotten meat, because that's what exactly what it is. <laughs> Adrenaline had drowned it out, but now it rolled over Junpei in waves, forcing itself into his nose with every breath he took. Oh, you're right. Oh, this is... <laughs> He felt his stomach clench and bile rise up in his throat. Let's get the lights on first. There's a switch over here. Oh, God, you're going to turn on the lights, and the light that spilled in from the door barely illuminated a small switch plate next to the door. Slowly, with the toll of the last few minutes apparent in his gate, Seven walked toward it. And? Oh, Oh, God, it's making the squishy squish noise, too. He stopped as he got close and extended his fingers toward the switch. Okay, guys, I'm flipping it on. Uh, eyes shut, June. <laughs> there was a soft click as the lights came on. <gasps> Damn it, she didn't She didn't do what I told her. <laughs> Just as the light turned on, June took in a short breath and... <laughs> yep. <laughs> a scream echoes through the room. Junpei's breath stopped in his throat. I like how we're having this sort of... this, uh thing going on now like this is how it, it's playing out <laughs> his heart ceased to beat time froze his mind scrambled to make sense of what he saw before him what hey oh this is it's vile yes <laughs> what was left of the body sat in a sea of blood chunks of flesh torn from the body sat in the blood like tiny islands in a great red sea My god, a vast, ragged hole had been torn in the torso, and what remained of his intestines spilled out like, uh, like fresh spaghetti. Smaller chunks of meat had splattered against the wall and become stuck there as they dried. Globules of yellowish fat had left trails like tiny slugs as gravity pulled them down the wall, even as they dried to it. Ugh, why are you describing it like this? (sighs) Looks like an explosion. Seven's voice was low and strained. Just like the ninth man. The detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, God. The the bone is coming out of his left arm. (laughs) We all know that this is Ace's doing. Every single thing of it. It's definitely an open fracture. He exploded. (laughs) It looked as though the explosion had been quite powerful. His legs were both bent in an odd, unnatural way, and his left arm had split open, exposing the painfully white bone of his ulna. Who, by the way, like, I know we were asking questions, but, like, I wonder who this guy actually was, like, the, the, the man, the guy X. Like, who, oh, is he just some random dude on the fucking boat? Like, his bracelet lay next to him. It seemed to have hit the wall hard enough to have uh, leave us leave, bleh, to have shattered the display, which lay on the ground in pieces. The face is the worst. Don't look. Yeah, at it. you can't even tell who it is. Don't look at it. Half of his head had simply collapsed. The blood coating almost made it look like raw pizza dough covered in tomato sauce. Ugh. His clothes too were covered in blood. The burgundy tie. The white shirt, the jacket with yellow piping, and the gray slacks, and, uh... But the clothes are... Uh-huh, here we go. They were all familiar to Junpei. Is that... Snake? It's not, but we don't know that. <laughs> Santa's voice wavered as he spoke. 
his mouth dry. Oh my god. Finally, Junpei spoke. Why did this happen? This would have been really bad for Clover to just, uh, just walk in on, you know? No! Oh god. Oh, suddenly, June was screaming. Her voice broken. It was an eerie scream full of intensity. Or, it, 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 insanity. And not entirely human. No! No! June, Ju shh! No! Let's, uh, calm down. She shook her head violently and grabbed fistfuls of her own hair. Okay. Jinpei could hear the sound of her of hair tearing. All right. Stop. Calm down. Shh. He grabbed for her wrist. <laughs> this was not something that we should have even showed her. Not that we would have known, really. Hey. But he did. As he did, June leapt up and ran. Where are you? She's toward the exit. Oh no, where are you? No, June, June, June. Please! Get me out of here! You have to let me out of here! June. She screamed at the door and her fist slammed against it with a hollow sound. Junpei could see drops of blood on her knuckles. June! That, oh my god. Why are you doing these horrible things to us? What did we do to deserve this? <laughs> June. She screamed again, a desperate, mindless cry. Her fists flailed against the door. Okay, you need to... Get me out of here! Please! Please, just let me out! Yeah, we haven't seen June, like, panic this badly before. June! Junpei couldn't watch anymore. He ran to June and wrapped his arm around her, pulling the screaming girl away from the door. Just, just... Calm down. Just fucking stop it! No! Get off! Nope. Let me go! Nope. Let me go! Nope. <laughs> Please, calm down. Just shh. She scrambled for a moment, her legs skittering across the floor. But her resistance didn't last long. As suddenly as her outburst had begun, it was over. The manic energy disappeared and her body went limp in Junpei's arms. All right. <laughs> I know. I know. June collapsed toward the floor and Junpei knelt down with her. Man, we shouldn't have been through, gone through this door. <laughs> he felt drops of something warm and wet. Was she crying? I could imagine. Moments later, she began to sob. Oh, it'll be fine. <laughs> Shh, we got this. I get it. It's, I mean, yes, it's it's a dead person, but at least it's not snake. You know, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, it, really, it's not fine, but you know. Her shoulders shook, and great hot tears rolled down her face like rain. We're gonna be fine. It's gonna be alright, June. It's going to be okay, Connie. There you go, shh. Her name was a whisper. I'll be here with you, okay? She nodded once. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jumpy. Her trembling voice pulled at Junpei's heart. He stroked her hair gently. His face was so close to her. The scent of her hair was nostalgic. Do you feel better? Probably a little bit. Yes, but I'd like to stay here. For a little while, at least. Junpei's body is so warm. So is going, I, I'm assuming going through door three is kind of the sticking with June thing, sort of. <laughs> As was stated <laughs> earlier when we did that plan. That made us be the skeeviest fucking thing on the planet. All right, just, yeah, there we go. Several minutes passed before June's tears had dried. All right, well, um, Jim paced it up. He bent down, put his arms under June's, and helped her to her feet. <sighs> I know I, li I said this earlier, but I do I like how the narration is this now for this like whole section. <laughs> they didn't speak. <clears throat> <laughs> Neither did Seven or Santa. A person was dead. They had died in that room in a terrible way. Jinpei knew there was no way he could make himself forget that. Not a way. There was no way any of them could forget, but mourning would do no good. 
Dude, if I found a dead body, like, exploded like that, I feel like that'd always be... There's a, that'll always be that image in my head, at least to some extent. They spread out to search the room, but each felt as if their heart was made of lead. <sighs> we better get to it. All right. <laughs> God, you're going to make me even do this. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard, right? We're going we're gonna to be fine. We'll be perfectly fine. All right, so there's that. What am I looking at here? So that's the door. This is the door out. Um, that's, this is the door we came in. That's where we came in. I, I guess it's not locked, but there ain't really any point. All that's out there is the number door. We can't go back through the number door, even if we wanted to. Okay, so what the, these are. Now let's see if anything happens when I turn you. Probably nothing, nothing, not even a drop. Is the pipe clogged? We'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, and then this, the... Those letters written in blood. L-L-R. Do you think that might be some sort of dying message from Snake? No, that's impossible. You saw the body. You ain't doing anything after something like that happens to you. And this... The way the blood's dried tells you it's really old. Whoever's blood this is, it ain't Snake's. Then you're saying this blood was put here a long time ago. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. Old message written in blood, LLR, all right, that's the, oh god, oh god, I can turn on and off the light switch. Oh, that's gonna not be good. <laughs> um, let's see, okay, let's back out of here, can I, yeah, chunks of pinkish meat are splattered across the floor. Snake, why did this happen to you? Damn, I just can't. Nah, it's fine, it's not Snake. Uh, let's check this box, one box, there's something in here. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Hold on. The hell is this thing? Some kind of spray bottle? There's something written on it. Lumen... Ah, I can't read anything else. The label's faded. Let me see that. He just grabbed it from him. That wasn't very nice. Oh, this is Luminol. You know, forensics guys use it at crime scenes. Ah. Oh, yeah, that stuff glows blue when you spray it on blood. Even if that blood's been wiped off, it'll still glow. Hmm. Alright. So, we can take some paper towels. Maybe wipe up some blood. And see if there's something more than LLR. <laughs> it's toilet paper with some kind of red symbols on it. You think maybe that's a, a sky, sky tail cipher? Oh, what the fuck's a sky tail cipher? Uh, what the hell is that? You wrap up a piece of paper around a stick and then write several sentences on it so that the whole paper's filled up. Then you unwrap the paper and you can't tell what the original message was, right? That's how it works, more or less. Then to decipher it, you just got a stick that's the you just got to have a stick that's the same diameter as the original one. Same diameter as the original one, huh? Yeah. Then you just wrap the paper around the stick and you can read the code. This is too this is too much for me. Uh, can I grab more? Stack of toilet paper. All right. Here's the plan. We're going to use this toilet paper that's totally for something. And use it again. I mean, use it. Uh, <laughs> use it to wipe up the blood on the floor. Snake's body can really... Well, can I, like, use this and just spray it? Wait. You don't really think we're supposed to use the luminol here, do you? Yeah, it does seem kind of weird to use it here. <laughs> But maybe I should try just in case. Yeah. Oh, how much do we have? Oh god, I just wasted all of it. Oh, and then I can hold on, go back here and then L L R L R L. <laughs> just like you thought, Junpei. There's some more letters showing up after the L L R. See? It says L L R L R L. Hmm. Alright, so, well, let's not worry about that yet. <laughs> um, let's see in here, there's a bucket. I don't know what I'm going to use this bucket for. It's a tin bucket. Hey, Jumpy, do you remember back in elementary school when you spilled all of the, our paint across the whole classroom? 
They made you clean it up and they get, all they gave you was a sponge and a bucket. <laughs> like this. <laughs> hey, come on now. Can we just leave the past in the past? <laughs> all right. What about the... Can I get a... Oh, uh, Junpei reached for the broom. And as he grabbed it, he heard a soft voice from behind him. It was June. The rabbit hutch. The what? Huh? He turned around. June still looked sadly pale. But there was a smile on her face. Oh, you just reminded me of it. How? The rabbit hutch, I mean. How did I remind you of something like that? Jumpy and the broom. Uh. You're always playing around with the broom in front of the rabbit hutch. I was. <laughs> Don't you remember? Shit, I don't remember anything. <laughs> Junpei stared at the broom in his hand. You mean, you don't remember that summer either? Uh... She looked very sad. He shook his head. Of course I remember. How could I forget something like that? What a liar. It was terrible. Oh. Uh-oh. Hello? Oh no. They were in the sixth grade. Junpei and June had been assigned to take care of the classroom pets. The rabbits. Their chief duty was to clean the hutches every morning. On the final day of school before summer vacation began, Junpei overslept. He rushed to the school and found June standing in front of the rabbit hutches. Oh. No sooner had Junpei arrived than June began to cry. He had no idea why until he looked behind her into the rabbit hutch. And they all, uh, first thing he saw was blood. Whoa. The hutch was filled with the dead bodies of rabbits. What the fuck? Even after their teachers and friends came to see what the commotion was, June couldn't stop crying. I just kept crying and crying until you came over. The hell? <laughs> you held my hand and you looked very serious and you said, Don't cry. I'm going to catch the person who did this. After you told me that, I finally stopped crying. What kind of sick fuck's just going to kill a bunch of rabbits in their damn home? Well, the real fun started after you quit crying. Uh-huh. You told me we were going to catch the killer together. <laughs> <laughs> Did we? June smiled and a little of the flush of life returned to her cheeks. Then we decided that we'd ambush them. <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah. The school also kept roosters and guinea pigs. Junpei and June had decided the murderer would likely return to finish off the rest of the animals. They would have ambushed the killer at night. Dude, this is dangerous. <laughs> Junpei and June hid behind the hutch at dusk and waited. Uh, it was a warm summer night. The quiet sound of crickets whispered through the air. As the sun went down, the stars began to wink at them from the sky. And June's... Akane. Her Shiki's face. That night was something Junpei knew he would never forget as long as he lived. But the murderer never showed up. So just some fu God, that's fucked up. <laughs> we waited for them all summer vacation, and they never showed up. Yeah, but the animals didn't get attacked either. So they just went after the rabbits. I think all that work amounted to something, you know? That has to be connected some way. Why would that even be a thing? He'd felt the same way, but it was good to hear her say it. Although, you know, if you think about it, we were probably taking on a lot more than we could handle. Unless June killed the fucking animals. Which might be a possibility, but who fucking knows anymore? Hmm. What do you mean? She looked up at him, confused. Well, come on. We were just kids. If whoever killed the rabbits had actually showed up... <laughs> we would have been dead. They probably would have had a knife or something. I mean, you must have been pretty worried, right? Nah. I, I wasn't worried. <laughs> because you were... Uh. Because you were there with me. I wouldn't be able to do anything. It's a knife-wielding maniac? You kidding me? She blushed furiously. Well, you know, no one else wanted to take care of the animals. <laughs> Clearly embarrassed, she tried desperately to change the subject. I was the only one who asked to do it at first. Yeah, well, boys don't really want to bother with taking care of animals, you know. It's true. <laughs> well, yeah, but you asked to do it after I did, didn't you? Well, eh, if it wasn't the rabbits, they were going to make me do something else. You know how that school was. <laughs> they were good. <laughs> I figured it'd be better if I was working with somebody who wasn't too much of a loudmouth, right? Somebody who wasn't going to tell on me if I felt like blowing it off. 
<laughs> really? That's why you volunteered? <laughs> why do we say this? Yeah, yeah, it is. God damn it. He nodded quickly and much too earnestly, and then quickly looked away at something very important. Really? <laughs> of course. That hadn't been the reason, of course. He had asked to take care of it, uh, the rabbit, so that he could be near June. But it had been so long ago, he couldn't bring himself to tell her how he felt back then. It would be embarrassing. Mm -hmm. He took a quick bre breath to clear his mind, tossed the broom up, and then snatched it out of the air. Well, uh, we don't really have time to be walking down memory lane like this, you know? Like how he did that cool, sick move. We've got to figure out a way out of this room. Otherwise... Yes. I'm going to look over there. All right. June nodded curtly, then turned and walked away. I should get back to it myself. So, yeah, this is definitely the... Oh, <sighs> God. This is definitely the June Junpei story hour. Like, that's literally what this is. That's right. The pool of blood. Oh, God, why? Don't step in it. Junpei turned around and looked at the room. At Snake's body. It's not. Chunks of flesh and organs still lie on the floor. Ugh, going on and on about old times right next to a corpse? <laughs> what were we doing? <laughs> Trying to have some semblance of sanity! Well, maybe it was because we're in this mess. Yup. Despite such a situation, or perhaps because of it, the mind turned to the farthest thing from death that it could find. Still, Junpei couldn't help but feel a twinge of guilt at wanting so desperately to live when Snake lay dead before him. I have to survive, no matter the cost. I need to make sure she gets out too. Mm -hmm. God, and that means... Uh, I feel like with that th thinking, I'll do whatever it takes to get her out. <laughs> As he stared at the clumps of blackened flesh, all Junpei could think of was how much he wanted to live. Mm. Oh, what the... F why to do that? All right, let's just, uh... Hmm? What are you doing with the broom? <laughs> I don't know. Look, maybe I can broom up some blood. <laughs> what? Is this just, like, uh, can I click this? A thick pipe that stretches across the floor. Ooh, hey, bathroom. Dividing wall that's... I don't need to click on the... Okay, let me see the damn toilet. Open the damn... Oh, what the shit? What do you think this is? It looks like tar. Look, it's kind of sticky. I don't think we can just wipe it off. I doubt just pouring water on it's going to help much either. What about hot water? Hot water? If we had some really hot water, like boiling hot, then maybe that would wash it off. Maybe? Uh, some kind of weird shit in the bowl. Uh, looks like some tar. Hot water might be able to wash it off. Uh, there's some toilet paper on the shelf. Okay, so there's some toilet paper. It's a water tank for a toilet. <laughs> I've seen a lot of OC guys try to hide, hide, try and hide a piece in something like this. Usually for a 187 or something. Guess they think it's clever. Don't know when, when they'll figure out everybody else thinks that. It's clever too. There it is. Huh? I mean, I know peace, but what's OC? Organized crime. What, uh, what is that? Some kind of police slang? Hmm? Uh, probably. <laughs> uh, what'd I say? Why do why you look all sad now? That's not really important right now, guys. Let's just check it out, alright? Well, he's not wasting any time. Oh, oh, hey, I can use this. Screwdriver? I don't know what I'll use it for, but I got it. It's just a screwdriver. We can unscrew things with this. Was there something we needed to unscrew somewhere? I have no idea. I haven't even checked everything. The toilet's tank. There's nothing in it, which means we can't flush it. Kind of hard to flush a toilet without water. And that's it. Okay, so we're going to leave. Let's see. How about in here? Toilet. Uh, there might be something in the tank, you know? Let's open that shit up. <laughs> ah, hey! A red key card? What the shit is happening? It's a red card. Probably a key card. Do you remember if you saw a card reader anywhere around here? I don't? Maybe on the door? I don't... I guess that's it. Uh, what about in here? There's nothing in the toilet. If there was, that would be... gross. 
Wait, go back. Dividing wall. No, 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 no. Go back. I want to see. Skinny shelf. Okay. Uh, let's close that. How about over here? Uh, I already checked all three toilets, you know. Nothing unusual there. Okay, so there is a card reader thingy over here. What's the fuck? Oh, god damn it. It's a thermometer. Can you get it off? No. <laughs> it's screwed to the wall. Hey! Da -da -da -da! <laughs> hey, Junpei. What's up? You know why thermometers only go up to 107 degrees Fahrenheit? No. No, I, I can't say I ever thought about that. I haven't. At 107 degrees, the cells in the human body start to die, and the organs begin to shut down. The proteins in your cells start to harden. Oh. It's like when you hard boil an egg. Even if you cool it down afterwards, it won't go back to being a raw egg. That's true. In other words, it's dead. That's why thermometers don't go past 107. There's no point. Because we'll die. Oh yeah? But it's pretty rare for a fever to get that high. Even viruses and stuff don't usually drive the body temperature up to 107. Of course, there are other external things that could. <laughs> yeah, yep. Like what? What do you mean, like what? Well, let's see. Something like getting locked in a sauna. Oh, God. Or getting thrown into an incinerator and burnt to death. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I guess that would get a little hotter than 107 degrees Fahrenheit. We were in an incinerator. Good thing that didn't happen to us. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> All right, I got it. Oh, God. Does that mean at some point we're going to get locked in a sauna? Oh, huh? Man. What's up? <sighs> what? Uh, Still mad? I know. Nothing. Forget about it. Oh, hey. What, what was that all about? Okay, so I got a thermometer. I... Oh, you took the thermometer off. It says open at the bottom of the gauge. I wonder what that means. Maybe when it gets hot, something will open? Hmm. Maybe. Uh, let's look over here. See this thing. Oh, Jesus. What is this? There's a piece of paper tied to this, uh... Tied to this pipe with a wire. Notice, drainage valve operation. So, okay. Please do not flush the water in these pipes. Doing so may cause the drain to overflow. All right, I got a bucket. Oh, burp, I got a bucket. I can... Ah, ah, I, uh, yeah. It's... All right. <laughs> yeah, if I can get this hot water on the thermometer, then maybe. All right, thermometer, let's get this party started. Hey, it worked. I didn't act, I didn't, I, well. Yep, that looks like it's doing the trick. There goes the gauge. And now it's on the open mark. All right. Hmm. Huh. It opened. Oh, what's this? Looks like there's a piece of paper in here. Uh, 947. Okay. 947, not, I mean, 947. 957 plus... That means you're supposed to add something to 957, doesn't it? Well, yeah. It doesn't take a genius to figure that out. The problem is, what to add? Shit, man. I don't even know. Uh, so we got that. Hmm. I thought we'd need, like, the bucket and then fill it with water and then chuck the fucking thing in there. All right, let's see what the... Oh, Jesus. Okay, um... So it'd be 957 plus something. Okay, so I got, so that's unlocked. I just need this now. The red light's on, Jumpy. All right, good. What if I do it again? <laughs> All right, right, the card's done. Next is toilet paper. Okay. <laughs> All right, so can I like look at this toilet paper real quick? So it's got a, uh, mm, mm. If we wrap the toilet paper around a stick or something, maybe. Oh, okay, here we go. Hold on. Uh, uh. Hmm, what if I wrap the toilet paper around the broom? Yes, broom wrapped in toilet. Oh, what's it say? Oh, so you wrap the toilet paper around the broom, huh? Looks like the symbols line up perfectly. It says 634. Aye, okay, 634. Uh. So, so what? 
what is this LLR shit, though? I don't know, man. So what would that be? That would be... Uh, let me... Where's my calculator? Six... Oh, shit. Six, three, four, plus nine, five, seven equals 1,591. Was that the right thing? Or was I brain dead and just... Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Uh, let me... Dude, I gotta write this down. <laughs> My memory is not gonna kick in. All right. So, let's go over here. Check this shit out. Six, three, four. Mm-hmm. Uh... Six, three, four, plus nine, five, seven, equals... 1591. Alright, we're doing good. 1591. I could have done that in my head, but. Fifth. Oh, wait, nothing happens when I press the buttons. Guess I have to get the. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. I, I thought, like, the lock was this. No, okay. Uh, scanning. Scanning. It has to do with this. Okay, spread so uh, What the hell do I need this bucket for? Maybe... Hmm. Doesn't look like the shower works. It damn well should work. Uh, how about a bucket? Uh, maybe I can use the shower here to fill the bucket with hot water. Hey, Seven, could you turn on the shower? I'm gonna put the bucket under the head. Okay, sure thing. Yes, that's... So I did need to do this anyway. Alright. Excellent. So I got a bucket full of hot water. Not anymore. I just pour it out. It's filled with it's it's filled with water. Try not to spill it, okay? It's heavy. I gave it to June. <laughs> Here, you do something. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll carry it. <laughs> All right. So now what? What do I splash with the water? Hey, a drink. Oh, hey. Huh? Looks like there's something down there on that grate. I think it's a card. Yeah, it's a, it's the blue card. Can't reach it though. It's too deep. All right, so here's the plan. We're gonna use the bucket or the broom to get us. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Hey Junpei, isn't this card kind of like the red card? Yeah, it looks similar. You're talking about the one we found in the toilet, right? Yeah. The red card floated, didn't it? Yeah, it did. So. Well, then, there's... Th this blue one probably floats too, right? Floats. Yeah, might. Which means... No, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, wait. I could just... Oh, it's so far down that I can't... I thought I could, like... <laughs> I'll just open it. I'm like, oh, hey. A drain. There's a blue card in it. And then a blue card. All right, before we do that, let's go back over here. Do this. Open this. Pour this hot water in here. Something that looks like tar in the toilet bowl. <laughs> if I flush the hot water from the bucket, this should clean it up. Well, here you go. There's something. If I flush the hot water from the bucket, that's, that's what I'm trying to fucking do, you son of a bitch. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. I just pour the hot water into the sink or the tank, and looks like you filled it. Now you should be able to flush it, right? There's probably a handle somewhere on the tank that you can pull. You think so? <laughs> Serious? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. What over here? What the fuck? Some pipes, they're connected to the tank on the toilet. The shit? What? Blizzard? They're all like that. Well, hold on, what about in here? Uh, thick pipe that's... Blizzard? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, okay, um... Maybe I can use the screw- hold on! Maybe I can use the screwdriver- damn it, I can't use- this. I was gonna do some crazy shit. Uh, alright, let's flush the wild water. Oh, it's just that easy. <laughs> it didn't even look like there was a handle. Well, there it goes, just like the toilet- uh, just like a toilet should work. And? Oh, one, eight, five- oh, wait, what the fuck? Uh, the dirt we flushed- uh, one, eight, five? That that stuff's washed. Uh, that stuff's washed off. 
Looks like the writing on it was uh, numbers. See it? A185 equals... What is this? You got me. Looks like just a bunch of numbers. All right. Um, so that's not actually what I needed to do. Maybe... Okay, so... 957. And then this says... Si yeah, so it's those two plus that to together plus this. So 185. So 185 plus... 1591 equals 1776. All right. That's an easy number to remember even when I don't have to write it down because America. <laughs> All right. Uh, shit. What, what do I need? Now I need this thing. How do I get it though? Uh, broom. Come on. Broom. Am I floating water? Ah, shit. Okay. Uh, Turn on the things. Boiling hot. This ought to be a warning label or something. All right, here's the plan. Uh, I don't have a plan. Oh, God, we're fucked. Okay. Doesn't look like maybe... Oh, damn it. So this toilet's got nothing. <laughs> nothing unusual about this toilet, thank God. Okay. Uh, there... Oh, there's water in here. So I think we're... Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, where the hell... Hmm... Maybe I can do something like this. Oh wait, it looks like the flow of water can be controlled with the handles. We can't put any water through the pipe on the right though. Okay. If we do that, it'll start overflowing from the drain. What? Maybe. And then boiling hot water comes out. There ought to be a warning label. Wait, so what does this say? Pipe on the right here must be connected to the drain in the middle of the room. If you turn on the water here, it'll probably come up through the drain. All right. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right. So the right here. So what? It's like. Uh, uh, these adjusting the valves looks like each channel has three positions left center and right was there a kint oh hold on let me go back let me go back let me go back let let me so left right uh, left left right left right left oh Jesus okay can I <laughs> left left right okay left left right left right left aha <laughs> well I did what it said on the wall wonder if it actually did anything huh hey the strains acting up what the hell did you do hey I just messed with the valves a little <laughs> nothing big haha <laughs> perfect yes yes there must be water flowing through the pipe on the right there's water pouring out of the on the out of the drain. Yes! <laughs> Excellent. Water's pouring on the drain. All right, I don't need this no more. Ha <laughs> ha! Victory is mine. Okay. Uh, and then do this. Great job, Jumpy. Both of the lights are on now. <laughs> now you just need to put in the password. Why are you looking at me like that when I? Okay, hold on. Both lights are on. We should be able able to enter the password now. What's with these E and C keys? One's clear, one's enter. E means enter and C means clear, I think. So after you put in the password, hit E. If you screw it up, hit C. <laughs> 1776. 1770. Yes. That one wasn't actually that hard. Good. Guess we can go in now. See, right there would have been a great moment for just... <laughs> Dude, if I go through this game and not once does it go Bleh! like freak me out? There's a large iron door at the end. I'll be really pissed off. God, we know what's gonna happen next. <laughs> we know where we're heading. <laughs> hey guys, uh, so sorry about that earlier. Um, <laughs> I had a plan and we're <laughs> we're working it out. And uh, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. At least we got out of that room, though. <laughs>